Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna share a really cool trick with you on how to magically make people, cars and bicycles disappear from your picture so even if you're in a busy place it looks like nobody was there. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer sharing my industry secrets with you so maybe subscribe to my channel for free. Also this time I want to know what is your favorite focal length. Do you like fish eye, a portrait lens, wide angle, maybe tele and for what reason? Let me know in the comments. I'm interested to see what is your favorite focal length. Okay, so here is the problem. We are at the busy place. There is always tourists, always locals running through our picture. What can we do? I think you're already sensing it. I am using a tripod to take multiple pictures several seconds apart or maybe even minutes apart if it takes a little bit more time. But take into consideration that the weather doesn't change too much and the sunlight doesn't change too much either because otherwise it's going to be a little bit more complicated to fit the pictures together afterwards. Okay, so here is the trick that we are using. Well, let's delete the other layers that I've prepared so far and in this case Case, I have three pictures as you can see here in each of the picture there is another area free of people. Okay so uh, one thing I want to do here real quick is to create a curves layer just so we make the picture a little bit brighter give it a little bit more contrast so it just looks better and then what we want to do here is preparing our layers. Now for these two picture layers here what we need to do is to apply a mask to them but not just a mask. What you want to do is to hold the alt key on your keyboard and then click the mask icon down here with the layer selected of course and this will create a mask that is already black. Okay so we want to do the same thing with the second layer up here. There we go. Hold Alt, click on the mask icon and you can see now this is black and this means that nothing in that layer is right now visible. Okay, so how do we know what is inside of that layer? Well, we are turning the mask on and off for our second layer here. So you can see this one and you can see, okay, in the second layer, the car is not here. So I can now take my white brush and I can set the hardness to zero set the color to white over here and I can paint this in as you can see here like so and this will remove the car and an important step here is that you also remove the shadow. Don't forget the shadow of the car or the people or anything else you try to remove from a picture, right? So we want to do the same thing with our second picture here up here. The third layer basically, right? So turn this on and off. You can see we have some people here but nothing over here that is helpful to us. So again select the mask and then paint out the people over here and as if by magic we have removed the people from the picture but we still have a car here in the background and we still have this traffic sign over here. I want to get rid of that too. So I want to show you two really quick and easy tricks on how to do that. So first of all we want to create a pixel layer down here at pixel layer on top of everything right. Good. So next thing on the left side, select the clone brush tool. That's important. Make sure it's opacity 100%. The hardness can be down to zero again and the size depends on what you want to remove in the picture. I want to zoom in here real quick and I'm going to fake it a little bit to be honest. So what I'm going to do is I hold my alt key and select the source over here. So I will take, you can see here the, are these lines and the architecture. So I can use that as a guidance. So there's one, two, three. I'm going to use one, two, three. So now I'm going to start here and then line this up over here on the right side and simply paint in this area so the car is removed. And you can see here, of course, perspectively, the architecture is going to be a little bit different, but this is going to be our little secret. Nobody's going to know that, right? Okay, pretty cool. So we have solved that kind of problem over here. Let's actually take this as a source here and then I will rotate this with my arrow keys a little bit just to bring in a little bit more over here. Pretty good. And then again, 
rotate this with my arrow key and boom and we have fixed this all right good so now here we have a little bit of a um, traffic sign here you can see now that my source point is moving differently that is important to understand because up here is our rotation you want to set this back to zero so now this point is moving in the same way as my brush is moving and with this I can simply paint out this traffic sign took a little bit too much there we go and this is remove two pretty cool now here comes another trick that is important for you um i will fake this too instead of putting in copious amounts of time to remove this little by little i will look at the picture and see this part and this part on the right side they actually look the same so what we are going to do is i will simply copy this part over here uh, so for that i will right click on my layers on the right side in the layer tab and say merge visible and this will give me a copy of all of the picture here let's move this up here so now it looks correct again and i will simply select a large area over here like so and copy that Control C like uh, copy and Control V like Venus. And now we have that part. Control D to deselect. Uh, we can delete now that part that we have merged. And we can use this part here that we have created, our little copy, and move it back down here. So this is again influenced by our curves that we have created before, if you remember. And now I can simply move this over here. Of course, has to be the other way around. So we're going to go to arrange and flip horizontally like so. This already looks kind of good, but as you can see, it doesn't line up 100%. So what we are going to do to fix that is to go and reduce the opacity like so. So we see both pictures at the same time. And now what we need to do is you can see here, this line is going a little bit different than this line, the edge of the building, right? So we rotate this a tiny bit over here. So now they line up. And now I try to line up the architecture elements like so that is pretty good and we only want to cover the traffic sign down here this is our main concern our main interest so again bring the opacity back to 100 percent like so and we do the same trick as before hold the alt key and click on mask so everything is going to be hidden like so perfect and then take your paintbrush again with white and with a soft hardness and simply paint this in here and you can see that da -da -da, as by magic the sign is removed and this has taken us almost no time it's an easy little trick a little bit of cheating but as you can see now the streets are free the picture is beautiful and you have the result you dreamt of Okay, that was the tutorial for today. Thank you for watching. Maybe subscribe to my channel. Maybe join my Facebook group where you meet a lot of other very enthusiastic photo artists. And see you soon. Bye.